Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here. Doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends series House of X X-Men Wolverine figure from the Marvel's Tricentinal Build-A-Figure Wave. I gotta say guys, I'm very excited to review this figure for you guys. I'm a big X-Men fan, but um, I my favorite character of all time is Wolverine, as you've seen from other reviews. And so when they announced they were making a new Wolverine and I saw the color scheme and just the look of his costume for this, I got very excited and wanted to get this to review for you guys. But uh, anyways, don't know if I'll get the rest of the wave. I, I'm kind of on the fence about him. Uh, I just knew Wolverine was definitely a must-have for me. So, But anyways, guys, let's take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll crack it open. But so taking a look here, you can see it says Marvel Legends series, X-Men Wolverine. On the side, you got this art image of Wolverine here. It says House of X Wolverine. On the back here, you got a little read-up about Wolverine, and if you want to read it, you can pause now. And you can see there, you can see the Tri-Sentinel Build-A-Figure there, and the rest of the figures in the wave. And on this side here, you just got an art image of Wolverine. And on top, you got the X-Men logo again here, and not much else at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack open this figure. So here is Wolverine out of the packaging. I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. Really loving this Wolverine. Really enjoying posing this guy. Um, definitely love the callbacks to the different costumes. Because I noticed with the new costume, with this new costume here, it's kind of a mix of the classic brown and yellow, but also has a mixture of some of the other costumes, like the nice boot pattern that you've seen in the past with, like, X-Force or Astonishing X-Men and so on. And then we get the longer ears here, like the classic ones that did, like the... Um, the tiger stripe suit kind of had, or no, actually not tiger stripe. Tiger stripes is a little longer, but anyways. And then, as far as accessories though, for him, he only comes with one accessory, which is an interchangeable head, which I do like that too. So you have this. So we'll just take a quick look at his head here. You see, he has the serious head with the serious looking face with the beard there, grayish beard, and then you can interchange that with the other head, which has the ooh, if I can put it on right. So once you get it on, to this head, there we go. And you can see it has the shorter ears on the head, and he's got a creepy smirking smile. Looks like he's getting ready to do something Wolverine-like. So you can see there. But I prefer using the other head, not because, not just because it's neutral, but I like the longer ears on the uh, mask too. But so taking a look here. You can see it's like standard Wolverine look. I mean, he's got the, other than that, he's got like the arm hair, which they added now to the newer figures, which is nice. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much the basic Wolverine look. Um, there's not really much you can, I, <laughs> I can say, because I haven't read any of the newer X-Men stories, so I can't really talk much about the storylines for him right now. All, all I can say, though, is that Wolverine still best he is at what he does and what he does isn't very nice so but that's it for accessories so now we're going to get into the posability of this figure so you see he has a ball jointed head there so he can kind of bobble a little bit and he has a hinge joint so he can look up that far and look down that far uh his arms can rotate 360 he has a butterfly joint that moves forward and back his arms can move up that far and down that far has bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrists that swivel and hinge up and down he has a waist sole. He's got an ab crunch, so he can crunch forward that far and back that far. He can kick forward that much, back not very much. Um, his legs can spread out a decent amount there. Uh, he has thigh swivels, double joint knees, ankles that move down and up. And he does have ankle pivot. And that's really it for posability on the Wolverine figure. So now we'll get him all set up to do some size comparisons. And as you can see here, Wolverine is standing at just under six inches tall, which is kind of standard since Wolverine was always a, is a shorter character. And for your figure reviews, here we have, or size comparisons, excuse me, here we have him next to yesterday's review, the Marvel Legends Venom figure. So you can see how they scale together. 
here he is next to some past Wolverine figures that I've reviewed and other ones that have been made. We have him next to the Amazon exclusive Wolverine or Logan figure. So there's that. Here he is next to the X-Men Origins Wolverine figure. Here he is next to the PulseCon Logan 2-pack Logan figure. Let's take that. Here he is next to the X-Men Love Triangle, as I call it, or the 3-pack of Cyclops, Wolverine, and Jean Grey Wolverine figure. And then for your basic 6-inch scale comparison... Here he is next to Arc Trooper Echo. Studio Series Hot Rod. Toy Fair Exclusive Deluxe Class Snake Eyes. And Star Wars Clone Wars Black Series Captain Rex. So you can see how they all scale together. So here is Wolverine in a ready for a fight bub pose. And I gotta say guys, this is an amazing figure. I definitely definitely recommend getting this figure if you are a fan of the character of Wolverine. Um, definitely recommend getting him or if you're an X-Man fan. Because he is really great and he will pose well and be great for your X-Men collection. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's a video, something you want to see reviewed, and I'll try and get a review for you guys. Also, please share the video. Let me know. Let your friends know that are interested in this kind of content and let them see. Also, guys, when you subscribe, please hit that bell, notification bell, uh, so you can get notified for the next episode of Bearcat Reviews. But anyways, guys, like I said, I want to thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.